guys, uh, welcome to my first video for my YouTube channel. Um, I'll be doing a little get to know me and answering your questions from Instagram. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, also to see what I get up to over the next four weeks in isolation here in France. So a little background about myself. Um, let's start with rugby. Um, I started playing rugby when I was five um, for the mighty Magpies, Ories, um, and obviously slowly moved up the grades, and then I moved, uh, went to Rongatai College, played my rugby there through high school, and after I left high school, I still played club sevens after that for the prem, and then obviously made the transition to sevens, New Zealand, and got, after that. Um, played a season with the Lions, um, made down the 20s, in 2011 made my debut for the Hurricanes, and in 2012 I made my debut for the All Blacks, and finished there uh, in New Zealand in 2017. Um, Came over to France, played for Toulon, very proud club. And now here we are in isolation. A few hobbies of mine, uh, listening to music, working out. Um, I'm not a fan of running, but I'll force myself to run. Um, gaming, a bit of Fortnite and uh, 2K. Um, and also, I love playing basketball as well, as, as well as watching it. Uh, a couple of mates of mine know what it's like playing basketball against me. Uh, and just chilling, hanging out, hanging out with my family and uh, yeah, relaxing really. Uh, the carnival diet is a diet where you just eat meat um, for five days, uh, nothing else. Um, and this is inspired by a mate of mine, Liam Messon. Um, and then after the five days, you fast for 48 hours. Um, after the 48 hours, you start to sort of add your eggs, um, your cheese and avocado. Um, and then you can sort of, after that, add your keto treats. Um, so I'll be looking forward to that I'm on my third day. Um, oh, sorry, fourth day. And it's going okay. The one reason I'm doing it is just something I want to give a try, something new, um, and also it's a, it's a challenge for me as well. My best Bronco test time is 5:08. Now that might not be fast like everyone else, but I know how to play the game of rugby. My best uh, bench press one rep max uh, ever it was 160. Uh, at the moment, I'm sitting at 145, so still, a little, still more uh, to improve on. Uh, what motivates me in times of struggle um, is my family uh, and, my, and, and the circle of friends that I have. Um, pretty tight, tight knit group. Um, obviously, I can always lean on them to to encourage me and to inspire me and uh, to give uh, good advice or a bit of banter, which is always good. And, um, and smile and always laugh and uh, always someone to have you uh, to, uh, to be honest with you so my best 100 meter sprint time I think it was 11.04 um, back in high school but nowhere near that right now life after rugby not too sure but I mean I'm giving this YouTube stuff a try so we'll see how that goes um, I uh, wouldn't mind getting into a bit of coaching um, and try and sort of study around that area. Um, but uh, I've obviously got some downtime to think about that and to, to put in a plan to sort that out in, in the next uh, four weeks. My reason for leaving New Zealand Rugby, I guess um, it was time. I wasn't playing for the All Blacks anymore. and. Um, 
the money attracted me it was a, it was a decision made based on setting up my family um, uh, also you know to set myself up for rugby as well and and, and that helped um, also not only that just coming over here for a new challenge uh, the top 14 is a different competition and um, it definitely tests test you physically and uh, uh, you know, with the with the boundaries of, of language, it's uh, pretty tough. But that that gives you another challenge to, to think about. And um, obviously, being over here and, and and travel is something that my wife and I have been wanting to do for, I guess, forever. And we've been we've seen some beautiful places, and we've been very lucky to to be in our, our position and and being able to travel. Playing overseas was always part of the plan. It was just a matter of time. Um, and I guess for me, it was no regrets uh, being over here. It's an incredible place. You get to see different places and, and they're also close. And uh, we met some incredible people along the way as well. And, uh, and that's the great thing about rugby, you know, that it gives you the opportunity to travel the world and also meet other people from across, across the country and across the world too. Do I see myself in the 2023 World Cup? Um, right now, no, might be too old, um, but who knows what would happen. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say really about that question. Why do I have number seven on my Instagram name? Um, because I was born on the seventh and it's always been my favorite number. Uh, greatest moment playing for the All Blacks, there's a lot. Um, I can really can't pick out one, but I'll just do a couple. Um, one of them is definitely winning the World Cup. Uh, pretty special to be a part of that team. And what, the other one is uh, playing with my brother when he made his debut. Uh, it was pretty special and to see him grow into the rugby player and man that he is today. I'm very proud and uh, special to see him um, succeeding in, in life and, and in rugby. Hardest player to tackle? Uh, Probably old uncle uh, Liam Misson. Uh, he always tells me now uh, we had a training for the All Blacks and uh, supposed to be touch rugby, but he'll say it was full on tackle. But um, he broke the line. I was at the back there covering, and I went to sort of two hand touch him, and uh, he sort of just ran it straight and bumped me off. So I wasn't too happy. And uh, the next set, I was like, "Yep, yeah, tackle full on," and uh, I think. Uh, the coach was saying, no, no, we're going back to touch. Uh, so, yeah, Liam Miss. The difference between living in New Zealand and France is probably the biggest thing for me is the famili familiarity. How do you say that? You stupid. You, 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 you stupid. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Familiarity. 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 <laughs> familiarity. <laughs> okay. Uh, just having to know, like, you know, where to go, they'll, you know, your go-to spots, um, and obviously the language as well. Uh, but they have their, they both each have their, their pros, and obviously New Zealand is home, so I'm always going to love being home. But being here in France has sort of opened my eyes to, uh, you know, maybe the option of living overseas and um, traveling a bit more. I'm loving my experience here in, in, in France and it's been too long. Um, nice weather and um, like I said before, it's you know, so many other little places we can travel to and, and drive to. So um, it's been pretty special and the uh, cuisine's quite different, but we love it and we're, we're grown accustomed to it. So, how do I deal with criticism from the public? To be honest, it's, it's not that hard. Um, it, does affect you at some point though, you know, when they're attacking your family, but um, in terms of rugby, it's easy, you know, you're, you're in your rugby circle, you focus on what your team can do, and, uh, and, and the goal that you guys have set out. Uh, the biggest thing for me, and you know, I've learned throughout my career, is that as soon as you listen to the outside noise, uh, that's when it becomes a problem, and you'll be able to tell yourself that 
so you're not focused on what you're trying to do and, and the goals that your team may set. So that's a big win for me. Sweet guys, we're all done. Thank you for your questions. Um, bear with me, like this is my first video, so um, if there's any tips or, or comments that you guys would like to, or challenges that you would like for me to do, then send them through uh, in the comment section. Um, yeah, thank you again for listening and uh, sharing your uh, questions with me. Uh, I'll see you next time.